here's how to add a dock to files on iPhone. So if you guys want to go ahead and add a dock to a file on the iPhone, in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys step by step just how to do this. So please watch this video until the end to find out how. So in this case, if you want to go ahead and add a document to the Files app on the iPhone application or the iPhone device, in order for us to save an item to the Files app, we want to go ahead and basically proceed with tapping on the share icon of that specific application, or rather that specific file. You can basically go ahead and do this by locating where that specific doc files is. So whether that may be on your Google Drive, your um, Microsoft OneDrive, you need to go ahead and save that to your device. So in this case, I'm going to go and launch my Microsoft OneDrive if I do have it available. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a specific doc file that I have on here. So I do have this doc file already on my uh, drive. And if you want to go ahead and save this, I could easily do, th do so by tapping on the three dots right here and tapping on share. Now from here, as you see, I do have some issues. I'm going to go ahead and try that same procedure on my Google Drive and choose some files that I have on here. In this case, I'm going to choose this file right here. I'm going to tap on the three dots again and tap on share, just like I did with, of course, the Microsoft OneDrive. This shows me, of course, the option to add people or groups and not necessarily the option to share this to my files app. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. And let's tap on this option on the bottom. Let's actually go ahead and proceed with looking for the option called send a copy. And that's going to give us the option to save this to our files app just like so. So as you see, we have this option called save to Dropbox, copy the file. And once you see the other application that is on here, you're going to see, of course, the files app if you just try to locate it. So if we go ahead through here and try to find our files app, well, basically, it's still not located right here. So if we go ahead and basically save this application to the files app, of course, we need to go ahead first and proceed with importing this onto our device. So you can easily go ahead and do this by, first of all, tapping on mail and basically prepare this to export from the application of the Google Drive to your mail app. So go in and just add a test email on here, or if you do have an email address, or rather multiple email addresses, you could actually go ahead and do so as well. So let's do that just uh, real quick, and let's add our preferred email address. So once this is done, let's go ahead and tap on send. And from here, let's go ahead and launch the mail application. And what we need to do from here is to go ahead and tap on sent and basically view the specific um, file or email that you've sent to that person. So let's basically assume that this is the specific file that you have basically sent. So if you want to go ahead and send rather download this specific file, of course, all we need to do is so long press on the file and tap on save to files real quick. And that's going to allow us to basically save any file, which is a doc file, over onto our files app on the application on our iPhone device. As you see, it's that easy. You can actually do the same with any other doc files that you have on other applications. Just go ahead and email it to yourself or email it to a email that you own. Go on over to the sent folder of your mail app and then proceed with long pressing on the specific file to save it directly to your files. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe as well if you guys learned something. And take care.